Well, hello there, YouTubers. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Roomba robot vacuum from Walmart. So, I don't know much about it. I just know it's a robot vacuum. And uh, I'm going to find out. It's the Roomba 676. You can download the app at the App Store or the Google Play Store and it has a connection to Wi-Fi. So let's open it up. Okay, so it definitely does look nice. And um, on the bottom side... Hmm... Weird. Okay, so before we move on, let's look at the this right here. This is where the filter goes. So you open this up like that. And the filter just pulls out like this. So it's a very simple filter. Nothing particularly special about it. If you look underneath, turn it around, the brushes, which can be cleaned if you need to clean them. They won't come out all the way, but they do come out. And there's two of them. And they're kind of tricky to put back in there. So you kind of have to spin like that. Yeah. Same thing here, you spin it until it f falls in place. And there we go. So I guess now it's time to start charging it. So you get this, this is the base, and it's going to charge on this area right here. So let's plug it in. So it's charging. So we'll have to give it three hours to charge and you can see it's charging because that right there it says it's charging
Alright folks, so we have reached the end of this review and as you saw it's a bit strange over there. It does not have a real navigation. It kind of just zigzags around around the room, around the house. So you're going to see it go over the same place several times and you're going to notice that it'll somehow miss several spots. And then eventually if you leave it there long enough, it'll eventually go through the empty band to that lost spot but it's just pure pure randomness pure coincidence it does not have any real navig it doesn't have an internal map of your home and it doesn't make one even from going around it's just randomly going any anywhere it does have a, this bump you can hear it that's the bump sensor it doesn't have a sensor it just this is a bump switch Every time it hits a wall, it decides, okay, let's go that way. Hits a wall over there, then it, let's go that way. It hit, keeps hitting walls, so it just turns around and goes that way. So it, it basically, the, all it does is go randomly. And then whenever it bumps into something, just switch direction. But it's not keeping a memory map of where it's been. So it's definitely going to randomly go everywhere. The only thing it knows how to do is go home. But the problem with home, when you tell it to go home on the app, is that it has to be near the home because the base, let me show you the base. The base has this IR sensor, so it's emitting that light right there, kind of like a remote. So this has to be in view for it to be able to go home. So if you put it, if home, this is the home base, it's in the living room and this is in the kitchen. It's just going to randomly go around, go around, go around. Whenever it sees the signal by randomly navigating. Whoa. Let me turn that off. I'll just leave it like that. Whenever it sees the signal, then it'll, it'll approach the base. So that's another problem. So if, if you, if it's not within view, the, the, the base, it can't really get there. It'll just randomly just, it's kind of like a insane person that's blind. That's what I call this. That's what I would call this. It's an insane person that's blind. It can't see anything. And it can't think. It's not thinking about it. It's just bumps, goes there. Bump, goes there. Bump, goes there. So, also, it's. I think it's more suitable for homes that are very uh, fairly empty. Not a lot of clutter around. Like if you have a child, you might want to, you definitely want to stay away from this. Because if you have a child, you're going to have clutter all over the place. And this does not work well with clutter. This is more suitable for homes that don't have any kind of furniture at all. Just walls. Or maybe just a few, a little bit of uh, furniture. But absolutely no shoes, no cords, no phones on the uh, with cords on the floor. No, nothing. Just no toys, nothing. Even chairs are a problem because it, it tries to go under the chair and it can't understand that that's a chair right there. Another problem that I don't like is that it tries to go under the beds. So if it gets stuck under a bed, uh, you're going to have to maybe move the bed or reach under there. I don't know, but it's not a good thing when, when you, when they go, this goes under a bed. Another problem I noticed with um, these uh, robot vacuums, and it's not just this vacuum, but any robot vacuum, is that it's not a true vacuum. If you pull it out, pull this out, you're going to see that ro that brush, rotary brush. Let me turn on the light. You're going to see that rotary brush right there. So that's where you're going to have an electric motor e either here or there or somewhere else connected with a belt. So that's not surprising. But all the dirt is going in here. As you can see, and there's that. The dirt goes in there, and there's that filter. So that's fine. The problem is that there is no, there's no motor. So there's nothing suctioning anything. Basically what this brush does is that it picks up dirt and just throws it in here. 
it throws it in there and it, it, it gets stuck in here in, the, in this compartment but there isn't any wind there's no wind suction going like in a regular in a regular vacuum where there's suction being pulled all this does is just this is actually a broom it's amazing that they would call this a vacuum when it's not a vacuum it's a broom all this all it's doing is brooming around and it does pick up some dirt like a broom would pick up some dirt but it mostly does this this is what it mainly does if you go in here you're gonna find a little bit of dust but and then there's trash but this is this is it right here and if you look at this this is actually carpet fiber this is 99% carpet fiber so what this is is brooming your carpet it definitely will pick up a lot of dirt like you see over here you see a little bit of dirt but that's only the superficial dirt that what's on top of the carpet so what's on the root of the carpet this cannot reach there's no way so that's still going to be there and the and the dust still going to be there so this is basically wearing down your carpet so please be be cautious about these vacuums that are not vacuum there's no suction at all nothing's being sucked it's just being broomed and here's your rotary broom right there that's the rotary broom so this is not a true vacuum the last attempt it was in a room in a in a game not a game room it's a kind of like a living room the second living room in my home and it spent 12 minutes working on that just randomly going around couldn't get out of there and normally if i used a handheld vacuum not a like a, a regular vacuum it would take no no more than two minutes to finish that and this this went over 12 minutes and i, I had to stop it because it didn't really finish it just kept going and going and going and going and going so if it takes 12 minutes for one room it's going to take 24 minutes for two rooms in 24 minutes i could finish the home the entire home so it's a good idea, but they have to improve the navigation so that it's not zigzagging randomly all, all over the place. It has to, they have to design it where it has sensors that can see the wall and it has a, it should have a memory that tell it not to go where it's been before instead of that random zigzag navigation. So overall, it's a two star out of five. And thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.